week 3 for our lectures in HGE. Okay, let's start up with the buoyancy. Okay, so let's um, show a little principle on how the buoyancy works. Okay, so assuming that we have a body here, uh, let's assume na lang a box uh, for simplicity. Okay, so this point is at a distance h from the free surface and this point uh, let's assume that this dimension is x okay so at this point we can calculate the pressure and let's call that p1 gamma height and of course the yung p1 that will act perpendicular to the body okay and let's call this point 2 as pressure at 2 okay p2 then of course that is just gamma times the total depth h plus x Okay, and of course, the pressure here will act perpendicular sa ating body. Now, uh, this pressure will create a resulting force. And dito sa itaas, we'll, uh, let's call that uh, W. Okay, so actually that is just the water or the weight of the water projected above this body. Okay, and this one will create also a resulting force. And let's call that F na lang. So, take note that the weight can be calculated here by just the pressure times area okay the pressure at uh, here that is just the p1 of course gamma height then this f here is just the same pressure times area so the pressure here is just gamma times h plus x times area now as you can see or you can observe this f and the w um, cannot be equal or, or kumbaga it will not it will not be in equilibrium by just observing these weights or uh, forces okay so take note we are just considering here the effects of the liquid wala pa yung um, weight ng body okay by this since mas klaro na mas malaki yung F natin compared sa ating W that means my upward force yan and ito yung tinatawag nating net upward force or generally the buoyant force okay so by here assuming this is the projected area okay so the net upward force or the buoyant force can be calculated by the, um, um, solving the resultant force of these two of course the resulting force should be upward so that will be f minus w and substitute this one okay so uh, simplifying further i will just factor out the gamma time area times area then we can just cancel out our h here and what will remain is gamma ax now as you can see in this figure that ax is just the volume of this place okay so let's generalize ito yung volume of this place na under siya sa water or kumbaga na displaced ng isang object sa water ito yung general term okay so that's why we um we generalize the formula of the buoyant force as the gamma of the liquid times the volume of the space. Okay? So, okay, so generally or by principle, the buoyant force is just due to the change of, of pressure at any elevation of the in the liquid. Okay, yan yung uh, principle talaga because of the change of pressure. Okay, so let's start an example. Okay, so diretso tayo. What fraction of volume of sol solid object that has specific gravity of 7.3 floats above the surface of a container of mercury? So this one, um, ito yung volume of submerged. Okay, yung like display sa water. Of course, ito yung volume exposed above the um, liquid. I mean liquid siya, okay? Mercury ito. Then, this body has a specific gravity of 0.3 and the specific gravity of the mercury is 13.6 okay so what is the technique so pinaka basic dito or pinaka principle is we will just equate uh, forces dito okay or equilibrium take note that this body has a weight and that body will float because of this buoyant force and let's call that f sub b and by this we can just simply equate weight and the buoyant force okay Take note, weight is gamma of the object times the volume of that object. And also, the buoyant force is gamma of the liquid kung saan nag-submerge yung object times the volume of this place or submerge that one. Okay, so substitute gamma of the object is of course SG times gamma water, uh, volume object. 
mercury naman, gamma of liquid times gamma of submerged. Okay, so I will just cross multiply our object here, uh, volume of this object dito, that one. So as you can see, the ratio of the volume of submerged to the volume of object is just the ratio of their specific gravity, that one. So 0.5367, okay, this is in a fraction form. But take note, yung pinapahanap sa number one is the fraction of volume na above sa surface. That means, ito yung nasa itaas. So, we can just simply calculate that by the complementary of this. Or, kumbaga, um, volume exposed over the volume of the object is just equals to 100% minus that one. Or, dito sa baba. I-minus natin yan. So, ito yung fraction of volume dito sa itaas. Okay? Number two, if the object below the liquid surface is 0.14 cubic meters, what is the weight of the object in kilonewtons? Okay, so may binigay na volume of submerged or volume of the space, okay? Below the liquid surface. That means ito yon. So, ano yung weight daw? So, take note, weight is equal to the buoyant force by this, no? Equilibrium. And since we have the volume of submerged, then we can just simply say that the water is gamma of the liquid times the volume of submerged. Then we will just equate that. Okay, take note. Ito yon. Then, ito yung weight. Claro? Okay, number three. What load applied vertically that would cause the object to be fully submerged? Okay, mag a add tayo ng force dyan sa itaas. Para mag fully submerge yan. Okay, claro? So, in this case, the volume of um, submerged is the total volume of the object na. Okay? So, our main um, equation here is we will just do equilibrium. Added force plus the weight is equals to the buoyant force. Okay, take note we have the weight already. Now, the buoyant force here, we need to calculate the volume of submerged. That um, uh, in this case, volume of the total, I mean, total volume of the object na. So, we need to calculate first the volume of the object. So, we can calculate that by using this relation or the fraction. So, by cross multiplying the volume of object, then I cross multiply natin to, take note, binigay na yung volume of submerged, that one. So, ito yung total volume of the object. Now, we can just use this and I will transpose yung W sa kabila. Okay, so the buoyant force here is gamma of liquid times the total volume minus the weight. And ito yung added force. 